Hi everyone, I've decided to give you an updated review on this 2012 Odyssey. We've put approximately 5,000 miles on it now, and some things have changed and wanted to update a few of the items. First of all, if you noticed, this car has not been washed. I decided to give you a more realistic view of what it's going to look like in everyday use. Since the last review, I've added the body side moldings and the mud flaps, which come in handy, as you can tell, in a country road. Helps keep some of that gravel and mud from flying up in the back. We've rearranged it a little the last couple of weeks to add some more room for some family. We've moved my daughter and son, who are six and four, to the back seat. And they are fully able to move this seat back and forth to get in and out of the van. My two-year-old still sits in his main car seat where he's always sat. But this does give us an extra captain's chair for an adult who'd want to travel or for a smaller person to sit in the back in the middle. The van has been running very smoothly. I've had no issues. The only thing I've started to notice is the brakes have started to squeal actually pretty severely. So when I go to my oil change here in a couple thousand miles, I will have them take a look at that. It's no concern, I don't think. It's just pretty annoying every time you brake to hear the squeal. Now to the interior, my review of the radio still hasn't changed. It's still mediocre. I have a 2006 CN that I've had for three years. That has the base model Toyota 6 disc changer, just regular system, and it does have more bass and full sound than this brand new Odyssey. This one does have the hard drive feature, which does make it nice to store many CDs, as you can tell. We'll go through our list here. And it does pull down the information. I have found that new CDs does not find the information on, but on the older ones it does. It's asking if I want to record the CD to the library. I'm going to click no this time. It goes to the list of items it found. Now to our list of hard drive CDs. As you can tell, the last three did not find the note information to it to uh, add the CD information. Still, as long as you remember which ones are, it's not too difficult. The radio sounds fine when you have three kids making noise in the car, but if you are by yourself and want to turn it up, you will notice that it lacks just a little bit of that full sound. As you can tell, we've gone just over 5,000 miles in it. It does tell you how many miles left the tank is empty. I have found that not to be perfectly accurate because it does update in real time. So if you're coasting down a hill for quite a while, it'll tell you they have much, much more miles left than you really do. But overall, it's not a bad gauge. The next screen shows your trip A and average miles per gallon. As you can tell, the last 3,000 miles, we've averaged 21.4 miles. We do a pretty good amount of highway and city mixed as we live in the country and have to drive quite far away each time to get into town. This shows how much oil life is left. It shows 50%. We have not changed the oil. It runs full synthetic. I believe it's 0W20. We did buy the Honda roadside assistant package. The dealer charged me $300 for it, but does include free oil changes till 36,000 miles and uh, basic roadside assistance if you should break down. If you notice, there is a small gap between the center console and the, the seat here. I have dropped my cell phone many times down there. As a guy, my hands just don't fit. So I have had to many times try to fish that out or jam something else in there to knock my cell phone out. In my previous video, I had the seat in the middle taken up. I had the strap over the seat, or over the headrest. As many of you noted, that was incorrect. I have corrected since then. You can lift this headrest up, put the strap down the middle. I have found though, since we have the car seats uh, all three to a row when we do that, the spacing here to add that extra room and the car seat tends to slide into this groove a little. Doesn't affect how tight it is, but the kid does lean a little to one side. I'm sure if we moved all these seats in together, that would correct that. I just wonder if we'd have enough room to fit all three car seats. The kids do love it. They tend to kick the seats as kids do, but Overall, the car cleans up. Here's one last overview of the vehicle. Again, I did not wash it or clean it. I wanted to show you all real life situations, how the car looks. Even after it's rained, the car still does look nice. We bought the package where they sprayed it with a coating, and that does make the stains and stuff come off a little easier. I'm not sure if it was worth the money, but they do guarantee it against certain items, including the leather on the inside. If you have any questions, feel free to post them. I will try to answer them. And if you uh, would like me to take any videos and show a certain feature, just send me a message. Thank you.